That's what happens. You know, I should have do not disturb. Do not disturb when it is streaming. So robot is driving right now. Actually, I know that this stream had said human driving. I'm the human, uh, supposedly. Well, I am an animating presence inside human form. What, what? And uh, the robot drives, the robot, the car, Tira Scholar. She's on autopilot, so she is kind of driving herself. I am gonna take control. She's riding this line. You hear her going over those bumps? Tira, what you doing, girl? And actually, I have to remember today that I'm not doing my regular commute, which is also the regular, the regular game we play in the morning of getting on autopilot and then autopilot, auto lane changing all the way to the carpool lane and then auto lane changing to get off to go to yoga. We're going to the car wash today. It is double stamps day. It is Wednesday. So we wanna get there as early as possible, which we're making good time right now because I set up the camera and everything before, um, before dropping Paris off at school and then I got in and then even though I got that phone call that cut off my stream I know better I know better I learned that lesson it's possible for me to if I take the call I could get distracted and forget to get off the right exit so we ain't doing that we're not doing that can't do it um learned that lesson earlier or last week that lesson last week when um, I answered the phone when the same person called me and I missed the exit but thank goodness I had like a couple of minutes cushion to turn back around and get my daughter in time you know so just it's like learn from your experiences point number one because you know I'm like I'm not gonna answer your call and it's not her fault she's calling me. It's my fault if I answer, right? And knowing myself, knowing very well, I had to reduce the speed to take this turn to get on the 405. So autopilot, Tira's driving anyways. <clears throat> she's going, um, I could increase the speed a little bit. We're going, no, we're not going to Sunset Boulevard. Ah! Why does it say Sunset Boulevard? That's so stupid. I'm not going there. Um, oh, it's because I typed it in before to see the scam. There's a scam on the internet. And that's the location, that uh, address on Sunset Boulevard. Two scams I uncovered last week. Um, this Budweiser one, I actually called Budweiser to confirm. And then this one, I just read the internet um, besides the point the robot is driving I'm actually gonna press on the brakes here I'm not gonna wait for her I'm not gonna wait for Tira to see the car in front but I'm just gonna do it I kind of I don't feel that comfortable when everybody's kind of stopped on this side and I'm kind of going fast in the carpool lane not really that and plus she rides this side like Tira right now the robots driving I'm the human supervising the driving even though this video is called human driving I don't like it that she kind of rides the sun and prefer her a little bit on that side hello and so oh, come on, see I don't I don't like it oh wait does it want me to get off the exit it kind of does oh it says for me to get off Shady Canyon okay Cause it's really oh, there is a lot of traffic here I did, I could have even gone back roads I don't even need to go on the 405 robot is driving double stamp day at the car wash left shoulder closed okay now it's like a matter of going all the way that way to get off the exit I don't think it's gonna happen for me right now see I like it when there's this much more space between the carpool lane well, I think we're kind of stuck here till Jeffrey Road. We're just gonna, cause carpool lane is moving even though the map is telling me to get off the exit. I'm just gonna, oh, you know, I'm gonna get off Jeffrey Road. It's kind of moving, but not really. And then it, 
it'd be a little bit too much work. Actually, I can't get in there. These cars are stopping abruptly right here. I kind of got to slowly make my way over while they're not stopping abruptly in front of me. Shit, make sure. human driving because it I gotta get off this exit I mean if I have to stay in a lane and go the autopilot is awesome it'll just it just it's perfect it stop and go it'll stop and go but with me I like keep most of what I do within a five mile radius where I live just because I don't feel like being wasting time commuting a lot. I love traveling, um, but for my day to day, um, like my yoga studio, my classes, all that stuff, I like it. And then, like, to do stuff in LA, damn, a helicopter is so gonna be necessary. I'm not living in LA, hell no, and I'm gonna need a helicopter to do work there if it's gonna be regular work because I'm not driving to LA every day. This is crazy pants. It's a waste of time. Like two days a week, a long commute, maybe three at most. Three at most I can handle a long commute three days a week. Um, but every day, fudge no. Fudge, no. And why? Why are us people so, so like, why? Why do we live and work far away and we're far from our family and we, we buy groceries from uh, not our local farmers? I could get into it. We're just, everything is as it's meant to be, right? We are meant to be like this. We are meant to be this crazy pants situation where one person drives one car and it's like just crazy. And I like this ride sharing and this sharing uh, whatever movement that's going on now where you share your house, you share your car, you share um, whatever. Uh, and maybe, uh, it, maybe it'll get to the point where it's reliable enough to where there is a car always. But to be honest with you, with a child, I kind of like having my own car. Uh, she got stung by a bee. She got stung by a bee on Sunday. And you never know. I mean, the hospital's three miles away. But I'm not going to wait for a fucking Uber or a Lyft to come and give me a ride to the fucking hospital. And also, ambulances take a long time, too. So, and, and if... And I had made this plan because I had a facility. I had a school that was like two miles away from the hospital. And in the facility plan was we do not call an ambulance in an emergency because an ambulance would take longer to help a child than it is for me to put the child in my car and transport it. So a whole waiver was signed for that for the quickest way to the emergency room is if um, one of my staff transport, you know, because it's faster. So, like, imagine your, your kid having an allergic reaction to some shit, something. You know, you're not going to fucking wait for an Uber or a Lyft, right? Come on. Anyway, that's why I always have enough charge. And I'm kind of happy that um, the hospital's so close. So, sometimes I could have, like, a drained battery, like, have, like, 40 miles on my car. But, no, I could still make it to the hospital, which is really close. Because I chose, I chose to live close to the hospitals, close to my yoga studio, close to stuff, close to the airport. That was my choice. I, I like, that's, I live like, that's where I choose to live. I purposely chose this place. I'm ranting, but I'm lecturing, but it's like true. So I'm thinking these are for other people, maybe who just, you know, are, are gonna get a ride to work or or whatever and they don't need uh, they, they can they can not own a car or maybe they can own a car have it in a garage but it's still gonna cost more so insurance and you still gotta like you know I guess well insurance and caring and taking care of it but I, I can't imagine unless there's a like in New York City where we have subways that are subways and taxis and uber like 
over here, we kind of just have Uber and Lyft. We don't have like really a bus and a subway or whatever that's going to take us to the emergency room or somewhere, you know, at a reliable pace. So I got to say, I kind of, I like the sharing idea and I, that was my, that was my insight on it that I'm, I still like having my own robot car and see, she does need a car wash people. Ooh, disgusting. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll put her, take our mounts off so they don't break. Come on, 917. I gotta be at the yoga studio by like 955 and get the car washed. I hope there's, there's probably a lot of people for double stamps day, but Tira really needs it. So the autopilot's been working great, even with um, the cameras and the sensors being to me dirty. If you look at my car, it's not that dirty, but it it's it's dirty. Good, no line. Is it, is today Wednesday? And there's no line. That's awesome. We made it to here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, they want the key. Let me empty out all my stuff. When you don't put your car in park and you open the door, it automatically goes into park. Woohoo! Let me check this thing. my kid to take these stickers off the roof of my car, off the glass. Oh my god, I don't have time for this bullshit right now. Oh my god, why did she stick them? Come on, dude. There's people waiting. I think we gotta go. Oh my gosh. Okay, key's in there, the key's in there. Let me take my flash drive out of here. Okay. I think it's uh, good. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm the trying to- in, right? Yeah, I was trying to get the stickers off okay. the top there, but okay. she, my daughter left more. Oh, okay. um, thank you very okay, much. Have a nice day. <laughs> what am I doing? Why do I have my jacket? I don't have my jacket. I'm sorry. Ugh. You know what? I kind of don't want the jacket, but I want my kids' pictures. Taking it in right now. Sorry. Whatever, whatever. 